How is my no buy a bag in June doing? How am I not buying a bag? If you want to know how I'm getting through June, then stay tuned. Hello, my name is Andrea and welcome to my channel and thanks for joining me in the babe cave <laughs> and yes I am still staying strong on my no bag by June but first let me uh, talk about this shirt right here this is a band called awakened and my husband fun fact was a heavy metal singer and I will be popping up a picture right here and he and I could not come from two different more different backgrounds than we did but we met and we are happy and yeah so this I'm representing his old band Awakened out of the way so and I'm just wearing my peacock don't mind the nails they do not match <laughs> but let's get on with how is my no buy going and how am I coping what am I doing and so let's get into it so first thing I have been strong it's day 11 I'm not sure when this is gonna go up but I am being strong and I've got a little bit of insight of how I'm doing it. And if you have more tips, then put them down below. So I unsubscribed to multiple emails. And that's kind of important because you don't really want to buy for June. So you don't want to see the, the sale prices. You don't want to see what's dropping. And I unsubscribed to some. I left some because I want to see still. And, you know, you can always go back in and go to the website and get emails sent to you again. But for now, I am not buying and unsubscribe to multiples because I've used different emails. And I've also, I still look though. I am still a bag lover at heart and I will always look for different styles and different bags and I have seen a few, but that's uh, the next video is bags I'm loving but not buying. <laughs> so that's the first thing. Unsubscribe a little bit to lessen the stress of not buying the bag just because you got an email saying there was a discount. So that's my first thing I've been doing. But before we go further, I've also been shopping my own closet. And wearing bags like my Louis Vuitton Petite Noé because I hardly grab this. Like I said in another video, I'm not sure if bucket bags are my thing, but I have this beautiful multicolor Louis Vuitton bag and it finally stopped raining here. <laughs> and I think I'm good for like a week at least. Um, so I decided it's time to pull out this beautiful multicolor bag. And uh, yeah, I haven't went out y just yet, but I will be. So I'm going to stay in this bag and uh, maybe I'll learn to love bucket bags. I'm not sure. <laughs> but that's bag that I'm currently in. <clears throat> and like I said, I've been using bags that are hard for me to grab for. I want to know, like, maybe they just don't fit with my new style as a stay-at-home mom. Or, you know, I just don't need giant bags anymore. But I still like some big bags. So I'm not eliminating big bags at all. And like I said, I still look on Mercari and Poshmark and eBay. And there are some bags I've you know got my eye on and I can always add them to wish list or save them for later add to cart but not finish to check out those are things that I am strong enough to not make the purchase and leave it in the cart and don't touch it <laughs> sometimes I will really like a bag and if I forget 
when something new comes out, you forget about what you just were interested in, and then that one comes over that one. So now what I'm doing is doing screenshots from my phone of bags that I really like the style, and I wanna ponder it through this month of June that I'm not buying to see if I actually want to purchase them. So some more thoughtful thinking, is this gonna be worth it? Am I gonna love it? And taking just more time, not add to cart, you know, as quick as I have done before. I like to think about the decision, especially how much is it gonna be? Am I gonna wear it? All the questions. So more thinking of and screenshots for later. So one bag color in particular is that dragon fruit tabby bag in that gorgeous pink. Well, as you've, if you've watched my colors that I have a hard time wearing, well, I know it would go with green like this. That dragon fruit is gorgeous, but then I want to look in my own collection and that's when I used my bold pink that I have up here. And I also have that Dooney and Burke Allison crossbody, which I loved to carry. I carried it. So do I need another hot pink right now? No. I'm tempted, but yet I look at my own collection and see, hey, this will fill that void. You don't need that bag, right? I have found several things on Amazon bag-wise too and accessories and you can always add to your wish list or you know add it to cart and again leave it. I have some colors that I don't have in my collection that I would like to try but I'm not buying them in June. I am staying strong. I'm, I want to be honest with you all and I will not buy a bag in June. Some people, I think, stop watching YouTube videos if they're not buying bags. Well, I do not do that. I like to watch my friends here on YouTube. I like to see what bags they got. I like to see if it would even be a style I would want. But that doesn't make me want to go out and buy it on a whim. I will still watch YouTube videos. I like watching unboxings. I like... Sometimes I like what's in my bags, but I really want to know what fits in a bag more than what's in my bag videos. So I'm still watching my friends here on YouTube. So I did sell recently a, a hobo bag and I'll pop it up here. And it was called the coal and it had the weaving and it, it was a warehouse sale. Well, I don't know if you all know this, but Hobo has a place where you can sell your vintage or bags that you no longer want. And so I have sold a Lauren wallet that I thrifted on this Hobo shop. You can sell and you can shop, obviously, for vintage bags on Hobo.com. Well, I sold the Lauren wallet and... You can either choose a gift card to buy a new hobo bag, or this percentage is really high, I know. Uh, they take 30% of the profit selling on their website, which is high. It's high, I know it is, but it depends on what you got it for, if it's high to you or not. Like I bought that Lauren wallet for like $8. Uh, and yeah, I bought it for $8 and I sold it for 70. So it didn't matter if I didn't get the 30%, I, I got a deal on it. So I've sold the, that wallet and I just sold my coal woven bag because the, on the back side it had this dent from storage. They put the tassel on the back and it was dented and it just bugged me too much. The color wasn't speaking to me either. So I sold it and I just got the deposit in my bank and I just took the cash option and yes, they took the 30%, but I only lost $4 from that bag. <laughs> so you have to weigh the pros and cons of if you wanna, if you like something on Hobo, you can just get the full amount, which there's nothing really I want on Hobo right now. So I took the cash, 
but I still am not buying a bag even though one left my collection so bottom line is it is the middle of June I'm staying strong even though I still search like crazy as a bag lover we're always gonna keep looking I, I just that's just the nature of if you're a collector of shoes or earrings or you you don't stop looking in my opinion I am not one to stop looking <laughs> but I will not buy for June so conclusion I'm doing good I am looking at my own bags my own collection because I have a lot of a lot of bags and I also resell bags and I do have one for sale if you're interested this was my 9 out of 10 Dooney and Burke crossbody. It's the smaller size. I've decided that to let this go because it just doesn't work for me. I don't know if it's the size is just too small. I don't like digging around and moving things out of the way. So if you're interested in this Dooney and Burke, in, it's in the Florentine leather natural color give me an email or dm me on instagram akb bags i only wore this a few times this is that 24 karat gold plated hardware non-detachable strap and here's the back with a pocket in the back i have it listed currently and no one's buying it it comes with a dust bag so if you're interested we'll talk about it and yeah, I'm probably going to lose money on this, but I am ready to let this one go. So that is all I had for today of recapping how it's been going, what I've been doing. And so far, it's not been hard not to buy. I am determined to get rid of Affirm and Klarna and all those payments, which I'm about one away from each of those. So I'm done paying off things. And it feels good to just pay something off and just use what you have. <laughs> so that's my advice. Use what you have, especially if you're on a low buy, no buy. And if you're on this channel, you want, <laughs> you like handbags just as much as me. So anyway, I thank you all for watching and subscribing to my channel. If you don't mind, if you like this type of video, give me a thumbs up. I would like it. And share my channel to other handbag lovers and I really want to try to lower my buying of bags unless it's for resale then I'm go of course going to thrift <laughs> but thank you all for coming over and watching and subscribing and yeah my husband's band was awakened <laughs> and so I had to shout him out because I've never worn this in a video and that is all I have for today and thank you all again and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!